Leon Spilliard was a Belgian painter inspired by the symbolism of Edgar Allan Poe. In his work, he has expressed disenchantment, emotion and decadence through figures of lonely women wading in melancholy places, desolate seascapes and ghostly characters. Due to his health problems, such as chronic stomach pain and insomnia, the artist often spent his nights strolling the moonlit streets of the coastal city of Ostend. He used these night walks as inspiration for his art. In Leon Spilliard's works, women are often represented waiting, often alone and in melancholy places. In a recurring motif, a lone figure appears to be looking away from the viewer, perhaps towards the coast or through a window. This sense of nostalgia could be linked to health ailments, such as chronic stomach pain, that have caused complications in his life. The solitary figures in his works reflect his own isolation and exude a sense of sadness and longing for something that is not there. In his words, Spilliard expressed his desire to be successful, but also the fear of failing and ending up in abjection. Some of his best self-portraits were created during sleepless nights due to his health problems. Spilliard used the veranda as a studio and exploited the moonlight and the distorted shadows that entered through the retractable roof to create disturbing and macabre self-portraits, in which he showed himself without filters, with a ghostly pale face and dark circles under his eyes. These self-portraits, which explore his desire for success, inner suffering and loneliness, have become an important part of his artistic legacy. Leon Spillier did not limit himself to painting only himself in a disturbing and macabre way. He also portrayed other disturbed characters through the use of flat colors and his characteristic contrast of light and dark, often similar to the symbolist art of Edvard Munch. An example of this is the painting, The Absinthe Drinker, which portrays a woman whose elegant clothes hide her inner turmoil. The painting uses expressionist brushstrokes and colors to depict the darkness of addiction, creating an eerie atmosphere similar to that present in Munch's works. In other works, such as A Gust of Wind, a solitary, dark figure is seen standing with his mouth wide open and his hair flowing in the wind, conveying a sense of anxiety and alarm. As in the self-portraits, this figure too is shrouded in mystery inviting the viewer to wonder what happened and what caused the anxiety painted on his face. Spilliard's characters appear on the margins of society, always on the verge of transgressing or experiencing an emotional crisis. These figures represent the artist's youthful alienation and his state of mind always poised between acceptance and rejection. Leon Spilliard often depicted empty roads, forests and landscapes in his works, despite the progress of the Industrial Revolution in Belgium. Using a monochromatic palette, contrasting light and shadow, Spilliard captured the mood of moments when the sunlight is waning and life seems to slow down. Sometimes tranquil and sometimes eerie, Spilliard often included street lamps and the faint glow of the moon in his work. Using his hometown as inspiration, he portrayed the changing tides and skies from his attic studio overlooking the harbor. Over time, Spilliard's natural landscapes have become softer and his depictions of Ostend have become more meditative and full of existential questions. His representations of the natural world have the same emotional impact as his paintings of people, drawing the viewer into the empty streets as well as into the faces of his restless characters.